you're 10 games in now, so there's a decent sample size. It's just just kind of the way you think a lot of games are going to go, and you're going to have to, if you win, you're going to have to win this way. I think so. I mean, you're not that. You, you always work to keep improving, but we got to keep. I know this will sound funny, but we start and try to even tighten up our defense even more to keep us in there. And um, and then you know we got. I was, look, did you get some quality shots? And if you got some, you you keep taking them. I mean, I liked how we started the game. And Stony Brook's very capable. I want to first say, uh, you know, they watching them play against Providence and some other teams. They have you know, experienced guards that uh, they'll pull up off the dribble, they can shoot the ball. I think they're shooting 40, 39 from three. And I knew that they'd be, uh, you know, a challenge in that regard. But um, yeah, no, we just keep finding some games, you know, it's <coughs> certain guys step up. And Thomas said he did call glass on that three pointer from the top of the key. So maybe we'll work on that. But no, um, we responded well enough and we just keep fighting to be as good as we can. You did get some contributions, I know, from other guys, especially late. But for a big chunk of the game, it was, Mamadi and Kihei kind of carried you. And yep. that hasn't necessarily been the storyline all year. Other guys have been. Mm -hmm. um, how good or, or relaxing, comforting is it to have two guys that you can kind of lean on in those stretches? Yeah, I thought those guys did a good job. You know, Stony Brook, they mixed up their defenses. They played the man-to-man. -man. We did a good job early, and they went to the kind of Syracuse-type zone. And we got it to the right spots, just didn't execute, but I thought uh, when we needed some big plays, Mamadi and Kihei came up with them, and then Kihei had, um, you know, uncharacteristic, some of those turnovers that, you know, I felt like there were some self-inflicted wounds or unforced errors, whatever you say, that allowed them to stay in, in striking distance when it didn't need to be that way, but they made the plays when they needed to, and, you know, that's part of being our, uh, Kihei's a sophomore, as we said, but our two of our most experienced players have to continue to do that. Um, and lead to the best of their abilities. I'm not going to butcher his name, but they're, they're, they're big guy, number five, who had six blocks. How much do you think he affected your offense tonight? Yes. He has, they have legitimate size and some strength. Like you, he was, um, is he the one that had the dunk also that it was up there? Yeah. No, a couple times he was, he was a factor. And that's why, you know, how many blocks do we have tonight? I mean, we had four, um, you know, Jay had a couple mommy that, that can cover up a lot of mistakes. You know, he can maybe get in the lane, make a play, and he, he either was blocking them, some of our big guys in the post, or our drives that, you know, would have been nice baskets to have. And he is lively and long, so um, no, definitely made a difference with some of, you know, not that we're scoring a ton, but I think he took away some of our in the paint plays. He didn't let us get offensive rebounds. Sometimes, you know, if you can get them up on the rim and he comes over, there's offensive rebound, but they didn't even get to the rim on six of those, as we saw. <laughs> Jay hasn't had a big impact in all, in, in all of your games, but mm -hmm. in, particularly against Carolina. But what about his play down the stretch, block yep. shots, yep. Uh, rebounded, and scored? That was good to see. You know, we needed that. Um, we needed a scoring and, and shot blocking. And I tell all those guys, you just, just keep staying ready. You know, Poppy gave us a lift against Carolina. I think the size bothered Poppy, um, you know, on some of his moves. And, you know, Jay was, and, you know, we needed Mamadi. And Mamadi had a guard, really a, well, I don't know if he's a guard, but that guy is a four out where he looks to drive and shoot threes. So it put some pressure on Mamadi. But I, I liked how Jay gave us some offensive lifts and then, couple key rebounds and blocks that were very important for us. So um, we need them all. And that's why I tell all of them, stay encouraged, uh, even when you feel like, oh, I want to be out there. But you just don't know what the game's going to present. And uh, I thought Jay stayed ready and, and had a couple good days of practice leading up to this. Coach, you've gone back to more of your traditional sides motion a lot the last two games. Are you, are you trying to simplify decisions for guys or trying to find a rhythm for offense? What are you kind of bit, looking for? Yeah, no, a little bit. Uh, move the parts. Um, we did it the last two games when teams went man to man. And, um, you know, I think it has at least presented some decent shots, some rebounding and a mix. And, um, you know, also sometimes you can wear the defense down as well. So um, I think our guys know at least where some of the shots will be. And, and, um, and I think that's part of. You know, what we've, our second half against Carolina was some of our better offense in terms of the quality of shots. And, um, you know, I'll have to watch the film, but I think our guys feel comfortable in that and we keep making little adjustments. Thanks. Tony, I'm guessing finals week included a lot of study and not a lot of jump shooting for your guys. Um, Thomas maybe came a little bit closer to where he's supposed to be, but Casey's still struggling. What, what, 
is, is continuing to shoot the only way to kind of get through that? Because how much does it get in your head? Yeah, I don't know. I, it's it, you just you can't obsess to the best of your abilities on your shot. You have to be a a plus in all the other areas defensively, um, not turning it over. You know, being sound and. Um, you know, at times you pass up some shots you need to, and then there's times you have to take them. You just have to keep getting your feel uh, for that. And being a young guy, you know, that probably affects everyone differently, but it just can't be how you define yourself. You can't. So you have to make positive plays as, you know, on the ball defensively as the things that Casey's doing. You keep working on your shot. You know, and I think this matters. I thought his shots, except the first one, were closer. You always talk about good misses. You know, it's a couple of those rattled in and out. Okay, had a nice baseline drive up and under. Um, and sometimes you look at the quality of the shots. He passed one up and thought he made a good decision and he worked his, his tail off defensively. And um, you just keep playing. I mean, he's, he's thrown into the fire and I think this is going to make him better in the long run. And there's no one who wants to help the team out more by banging some shots and scoring than him. Um, so this is, this is a great process for him that you got to be patient, you got to keep working, but you also got to got to let it go a little bit too and, and not let it eat you alive. <clears throat> Braxton looked a little rusty tonight, which is probably to be expected. Right. How much did you come in planning to use him or it did was, you have a set idea? It was just going to be how he looked, how comfortable he was. He's practiced a few times um, and, you know, similar to what Kihei had. Um, and I just told him, you know, be defensively, you know, you're probably going to have to be a little more conservative offensively till you get more comfortable with that and, and just – be as locked in defensively and on the glass. So um, that'll just kind of be a work in progress and feel that way. We'll take one more. Carol. Uh, Cody has become a little bit of a fast break machine. How much do you trust his abilities there? And how much green light, I guess, is there for those guys to push out and transition like that? And on the two the fast breaks that he's gotten, <laughs> he's a machine now. <laughs> there's huh? a couple. There's been a couple others. Some, <laughs> some nice, some dunks, alley oops no. now. And how also do you think his length? Helps me yeah. settling in defensively. Well, he is six seven, and he is bouncy. You know, he's deceptively athletic in certain ways, and so you saw that on some of the rebounds that he grabs, and of course, uh, in transition. And um, you know, so and I think he's improved a lot from last year defensively. He really has, and he's gotten a little stronger. And uh, he had a, another couple really good practices leading up to this game. He shot it really well, and I know he made one today, but. With these guys, you just keep coming, and you know. Again, on Sunday, we're going against a very physical, tough-minded team, and you know we'll have to be ready for that. 